Hello everyone, welcome to our video preview of Leeds versus Liverpool. Uh, who's at home in this game? Liverpool are at home. Liverpool are at home. Mm, okay. Anfield. I, I, I can't see Leeds win this game. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're here with a, a crying Leeds fan on the phone. Yeah, long time Leeds sufferer um, and friend of the show. My best mate, you know, is on the phone to us in. Um, let the viewers know um, why you support Leeds, I suppose, before we get into the preview. But, uh, yeah. First of all, thanks very much for the for the lovely introduction. Um, I'm sure you say worse things about me when I'm not there, but uh, yeah, long long, long time suffer is, is 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 right. Anyway, um, I suppose I am supporting Leeds because uh, my dad supports Leeds. Leeds and Bowes, I couldn't take two. <laughs> <laughs> more, more, more miserable clothes to follow. Uh. Um, and the worst thing is that like if we're ever watching matches or anything like me and my dad together. Like he just got home the day after the loss, and I just see him the rest of the day. <laughs> so he just sort of passed that, uh, passed the, passed the pain and suffering on to me. But um, I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm. But I would. I'd love it to be winning games. But well, you're not. You're not gonna be winning games under a. Uh... US resident now in Leeds Jesse Marsh but uh, we look at Liverpool and Leeds as kind of injuries at the minute I was looking at Leeds as injuries earlier they actually haven't got that many um, missing Adam Forshaw and Stuart Dallas at the minute obviously Dallas well he done his leg in didn't he he got yeah. broke his leg yeah. I think he done his ACL I think it was or he broke a shin bone something like that yeah he's been out for a while he's back soon not that it will make too much of a difference to the squad it's not really where we're struggling at the moment but um, yeah, to have him back would be nice, but then again, I don't see where he fits into this team. Yeah, and then Liverpool are without Artur, which is, I mean, probably a good thing. Jota, Matip, and Diaz as well, they're all long term injuries. Um, Thiago, Canate, Nunes, and Nabi Keita have all trained this week, so they're expected to at least feature either against Ajax or against Leeds the weekend, of course. Liverpool find themselves ninth in the table, four wins four draws and three losses on 16 points while well, Leeds find themselves 18th with two wins three draws and six losses um, <laughs> in, in their piss himself on the other line but um, what have you made so far this season and it's been it's been a bit of a weird one for Leeds um, obviously we've seen them beat Chelsea 3-0 when we were away on holiday but since yeah. then it's been kind of a bit of a task to watch yeah well look at the start of the season we've Got a really good win at home for Wolves, and then we hammered Chelsea. And like you said, we watched that game when we were away, and we really we outplayed them. Like we were great in that game. Um, and the thing is, like it's I was only saying this to my dad earlier on. It's not we haven't been playing that badly. We're just in the two boxes, like mm. defensively and then um, defensively and as well. Like we're just it's just really really poor. Like it's not putting away chances. Like Detroit we have to try so hard to score a goal and then we just kick goals away so easily. Mm. Uh, but I mean, this could have been rectified over the past couple of years by signings and it never happened. And so I don't really play too much of the blame with Jesse Marsh. I know a lot of fans do, but there's a lot of fans that don't as well. Mm. Um, and, but it, I think as well, like, I think that we, we there is a lot of like Im- improvement that could be had with the squad. Like There is some good players in the team. It's just... Both ends of the pitch, it's just it's just so poor. Like, and that's that's in the Premier League, you get punished for for not taking your chances and and giving away too many easy chances, you know. Yeah, and <clears throat> we'll just look at Liverpool and Leeds as head to head record since Leeds came yeah. back. <laughs> I, was, I don't want to talk. About that. <laughs> um, Leave it, lads. It's Le- it's Leeds's third season since getting promoted from the Championship. Um, obviously, Bielsa was. In charge for three of these games, or four, it could have been the four games I think he's in charge of. Um, September the 12th, 2020, seems like a long time ago now. Liverpool 4 3 winners over Leeds on the opening game of the season. Salah with a hat trick, Van Dyke on the score sheet, <clears throat> Jack Harrison, Patrick Bamford, and Klitsch on the score sheet for Leeds. Fast forward then to April 2021 in the midst of Super League. Do you remember this debacle? Jesus Christ. Leeds won, Liverpool won, Llorente with a late equaliser. I think we were watching that in my house, Ian, weren't we? It was fucking... <laughs> it was... Uh, what's your man's name? He has something to do with Crystal Palace. I think it's Steve Parrish. Um, was on Sky Sports with Gary Neville and Carragher. And it was just like... It was like, what are you doing on the telly? But, uh, we were all sitting there filming and watching before. 
go over to the 12th September 2021 it was Leeds Liverpool again this time in Ellen Road and it was a 3-0 win for Liverpool Salah, Fabinho and Mane on the score sheet for the Reds that day and then February this year was one of Bielsa's last games I think Liverpool 6 Leeds nil. Mo Salah with 2 2 penos Matt upon the score sheet Mane with 2 Van Dijk with a goal late on as well Um, you could go back years into the Premier League and you, you know yourself in we are Premiership loyal uh, Premiership years loyal on this podcast what was your favourite memory of Leeds versus Liverpool in the Premier League if you have one um, so yeah well I don't really I haven't gotten any chills from really. Uh, I I think the Duke has scored in four. Obviously, I don't mm. remember it, but I think that that's one of the one of the great moments in Premier League history, not just Leeds. Yeah. But um, you know, I say the atmosphere in the ground that day was unbelievable. But there were four great goals. The Duke mm. obviously loved that Leeds. Um, great game, great mm. win as well, and um, and great finishes as well. That's the type of player. If we had a Duke in the team, they would be winning more games than. Um, than we have so far but other than that I would say one that I can remember um, I know we lost the 4-3 game the first game um, in the Premier League but for me that was a big thing like it was the first time I've ever watched Leeds in the Premier League mm. after you know watching them watching them be so poor for so many years it was like it was great to actually watch a Leeds team playing the Premier League and it was a great game as well I know we lost but like we weren't expecting to win anyway but um, I'd say that was, that was a good memory for me just to see Leeds back in the Premier League for the first time but I remember you know yeah I'm kind of along the same lines like I have written here about Viduka because I remember during Covid watching the like the Premiership years religiously because we all had time in our hands and I'm a, a steaming loser girl <laughs> when it comes to the Premiership years but um, Viduka were four that day and you're kind of going what the fuck it was a great game um, but yeah that 4-3 um, on the opening day of the season that obviously was when Liverpool went in as league champions it was the first for Liverpool coming into a Premier League season as champions and to be honest with you I remember talking to you the days before and we were like yeah Liverpool are going to win 3 or 4 nil handily but Leeds turned up in the day and they were unreal yeah so <clears throat> we'll get into it here and I'll let you go with the first prediction because I feel like you've been left down the cold here looking at the Champions League highlights <laughs> um, your prediction for Liverpool and Leeds I think it's going to be honestly Liverpool aren't in great form either but I'd, I'd say 2 or 3 nil to Liverpool Easily, mm-hmm. but we'll go uh, 3 0 wild card draw for Leeds. Not probably not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> 3 0 wild card draw. Well, so are, the are they thing. winning or are they drawing? It's, it's the wild card pick, so I've, right. I've, that, that's a little like teaser. If that happens, then I said it right. In your prediction, <laughs> I'm so confused with that. Your prediction, <laughs> you for understand, the, like, <laughs> your prediction for the match on Saturday, you know? I think, I think. I do think we'll play well, but I don't think we'd be good enough at the back to stop you from scoring a few goals. So mm. I'm going to say 4 1. Yeah. And if Junior Fairpost playing, it'll be safe. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I, I, I'm along the same lines. Like, look, Liverpool aren't playing great, but I do think if the likes of Nunes and Salah are playing, and obviously Firmino's in great form, you do expect them to get chances. I think that's what Forrest done well the weekend, was not giving away too many chances all of Liverpool's opportunities came from set pieces um, Leeds haven't won a game in 8 games and Forrest hadn't won a game in 9 games when they came against Liverpool so it has the potential to be a banana skin and I wouldn't necessarily be too surprised if Leeds nick something just getting back to the game itself Kieran, my prediction is Liverpool 4 Leeds 2 I think Liverpool have the tendency they can see goals this season but I think again to defence like Leeds they can definitely get goals um, and I'd fancy Darwin Nunes to be on the score sheet should he be fit um, but yes that's my prediction Liverpool 4 leads 2 and that's that's all from us can I can I add another prediction in? go on so Junior Firpo to be the worst player on the pitch <laughs> <laughs> this is like the Max Lonzo that, that, that sounds like that sounds like a bit of a spoiler rather than a prediction to be fair it's not even a prediction it's a fact but um <laughs> He is the worst player I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's woeful. He wouldn't even. I tell you, if Bowes were signing him, I'd go nuts. He's terrible. But yes, thank it's you for heard heard <laughs> thank you for joining our Liverpool Leeds preview. Um, we're gonna send it back to the podcast now, where the lads are answering your questions on Get It Out. 
And thanks for joining us, bro. You're very welcome. Thank Cheers. You.